So let's start talking about the tools in the toolbox. So on the left side is the toolbox, and the first tool is the move tool, whose shortcut is the letter V. Um, so every time you hit V, um, it takes you to the first tool, which is the move tool. And then if you hit M, the letter M, um, it takes you to the second tool, which is the rectangular marquee tool, and so forth. Each of these tools has a shortcut, like B is for brush. It takes you to the brush tool. Um, and I really recommend you memorize the ones you will use quite often. Uh, and I can assure you the ones that you will really use are the move tool and the rectangular marquee tool. So memorize V and M um, because you will use these a lot. It's much easier to switch to the tool by clicking on a key on your keyboard rather than every time dragging your mouse to the toolbox on the left. So what do these tools do? Let's start by um, creating a new layer, first of all. So make sure you have your Layers panel open. If it's not open, you can go ahead and go under Window and then select Layers. Um, what you want to do is never do any work on this background layer. Now, you could. It depends on the context, on the situation. But um, let me show you what happens if we do. Let me go ahead and take this uh, rectangular marquee tool uh, click and drag on the uh, document and then uh, choose a color like red. I will cover these steps um, one by one but I'm just being quick right now just to show you what happens if I do work on the background layer and then color this um, square. Okay, So let's say I want to move this square now. Let's say I don't want it um, where it is currently. I want to move it to the bottom right corner of the document. What do I need to do? I need to select the Move tool because from its name you can tell that it moves things, right? So if I hit V, it takes me to the Move tool. And now when I go over my um, drawing, my red box, and try to move it, um, it won't let me. It tells me that you cannot move this because the layer um, is locked. So remember that the background layer is, is locked and it's always locked. Um, unless we uh, do something specific to it which is a bit advanced at this stage. So I'm not going to go to that direction. Just remember that uh, the best practice as a beginner is to create new layers all the time. So um, let me fix what I uh, did just by um, changing the background back to white. And let me go ahead and create a new layer. Uh, the creating new layer icon is right here at the bottom so within the layers panel on the right side next to the trash there's this little icon which says create new layer so click on that and when you do it creates a new layer over the background okay now um, we, let's go ahead and name this layer so I will call it uh, square because that's what I want to draw on this layer so what I did is I just clicked where it said layer 1 Twice, I double clicked and it allowed me to edit that name and, and change it to square. Okay, so now I'm able to uh, draw whatever I need to on this new layer. And when I do and when I wish to move it later on, uh, it will move because it's not attached to the, lay to the background layer. So let me go ahead and take my rectangular marquee tool and click once and drag. Uh, to draw your shape. Now you see that um, I'm able to basically draw anything between a rectangle and a square, right? Um, and if I wish to draw a square, a, f a, a complete geometric square, um, I mean maybe from experience um, my eyes are so used to seeing a square that I can tell that this is a square and actually if you see the dimensions um, it says width 1350 high 1290 well so that's almost um, identical for the width and the height uh, but to, to do it right you know what you can do is just hit the shift key so now let's say I have this uh, vertical rectangle and then if I hit the shift key uh, it becomes a real square and now you can see that it says width 1422 and height 1422 pixels so that's exactly what I want okay and then I will release and uh, you will see, you know, this um, animating, if you will, um, 
uh, marquee. So the rectangular marquee tool allows you to draw uh, squares, um, rectangles, and so forth. And since I'm on my new layer called square, um, I want to color this, give it a color. To do that, I will go into this um, color section right here and hover over the foreground color and then click on that and choose the color that I want. So let's say in this case I want red, I would just take my color picker over to the red section, hit OK, and then the question is how do I apply this color uh, to this uh, square? Um, to apply the color to the square, what you need to do is just hit Alt and Delete. So the Option key or the Alt key and Delete. And that's how you color um, your shape. Now you see that this uh, shape of yours, the square, still has that selection, if you will. Uh, which is basically there because that's how we started it. We, we, we chose the rectangular marquee tool and drew a square. To get rid of this selection, uh, you, we need to uh, just click on Command, so the Command key and the letter D. Okay, so doing anything with the Command key, let's say Command S, would stand for save, right? Because the letter S stands for save. Command D will stand for deselect. Uh, Command W will stand for close the window for me, and so forth. So again, I really encourage you learn shortcuts because uh, you don't want to constantly go to the menu to open a document, to deselect a document, uh, to save a document. You just hit Command S, Command D, Command W, Command C, and so forth. So, um, to deselect my object, I just hit Command D, D like in deer. And um, this is my square, it's on a new layer. And now, if I wish to move it, remember that um, you cannot move it if you still have the rectangular marquee tool selected. Let me show you how. Let me try to hover over my red box, click on it, and try to move it. I can't move it. What happens is that a new um, shape, a new shape of a square or recta rectangle uh, gets, you know, uh, ready to be uh, selected or drawn and so forth. So to move this object, I need to do that with the Move tool. So again, to go to the Move tool, the shortcut is V, or you just go ahead and click on that um, tool on the toolbox, which is the first tool. And now, again, make sure you are on the right layer, on your square layer, and take your square and move it wherever you need to, um, let's say, on this bottom right corner. Okay, so that's great because we covered two tools or already and um, we're, we're on the right track. So now, let's say I want to duplicate um, this square. What can I do? Uh, one thing I can do is take this layer and drag it down all the way to um, the create new layer icon. What it will do is it will copy the same thing on a new layer. Okay, so let me repeat. Just click on this existing layer, drag it down to the create new layer, and then release, and you will have a square copy. Obviously, uh, this means that we have two squares overlapping. You, you can click on the new one and drag it out. Okay, uh, and then you can change the name. Uh, let's say um, square blue and then square red. So let's color this new square, let's change its color to blue. How can we do that? There are two ways to do that. We can hover over the layer and um, click on the layer basically, be on that layer, select the layer and then hover over this square section on the layer which contains the object itself. And while you're hovering on that square section, which is basically the layer thumbnail, uh, click on the command key, select the command key, hold it down, hold down the command key, and then click once. It selects the object for you, okay? And then you can go and choose your blue color, hit OK, and then do the same thing to color, just hit Alt, Delete. 
okay and then it colors that blue square for you and to deselect remember you do command D okay now uh, this is one way oops I'm zooming in and out the other way is um, to uh, lock the layer now you see here it says lock in the layers panel and it has several little icons what you need is the very first one okay you might be confused between this first one and the last one don't use the last one to lock a layer because it will prevent you from moving it let me show you how so if I lock this uh, one that says square blue I can't move it anymore right because it's locked that's not what I want. I want to lock it only to color it. I don't want to lock it to prevent it from moving. So uh, I need to choose this first icon next to lock and it adds a little lock for me which is not black, it's a white lock. Uh, now I can go and select my blue, it's already there and just without selections, without using the rectangular marquee tool, just hit Alt Delete and it colors that um, object for you and this is a great method because um, you can make sure that every single pixel of your square is colored and nothing is left out if you do the other method of selecting um, the the layer and giving it a color but by selecting it with the marquee tool uh, you may risk having uh, sometimes pixels that are left out that are not colored so the better method is just to lock your layer with this little first icon and then apply the color that you want by hitting Alt Delete. So let's continue with the other tools in another tutorial.